Hi, everyone, and welcome to Law Office Management, the spring semester of 2021. I am making this video as a welcome video to introduce myself, even though I think all of you already know me, and to give you a little of a tutorial, a tour around, a, around our Blackboard site, and just tell you a little bit about our class, since we won't be meeting in person, and I can use this opportunity to just demonstrate for you what I would in class. But first, I just wanted to tell you and take a minute to let you know that I am really excited about teaching this class. I think it's a really fun, very interesting class, and I really think I know everybody in this class. I think you've all been my students before, with the exception of maybe one of you. So it really means a lot to me to have you back with me and, and to have another semester together. I also believe that most, if not all of you, are taking this class either this is your one of the last classes you're taking in the paralegal program before you graduate or you're very close to being done. So that's really very exciting and also important because we're going to be spending some time in our class this semester talking about moving from being a student in a paralegal studies program to be getting your first or even your next job as a paralegal. So hopefully this comes at a good time in your career as well. I'm making this video on Wednesday morning, January 20th, just a couple of hours before Joe Biden's inauguration. So there's a lot of exciting stuff happening in the world of the law. I'm clearly still making this video and you guys are taking this class in the middle of a pandemic. So I think it's really important that whatever we cover this semester when we're talking about what a law office looks like, who works in a law office, what we do in our jobs, we, we are going to be talking about it, what it looks like through a pandemic lens, because how can we not? I mean, it wouldn't really make sense for me to talk to you only about the physical structure of a law office if everybody's working from home. And there's been a lot of interesting developments in the legal profession, not to mention the laws themselves, having to do with the pandemic and COVID. And I think that will carry us even when the pandemic stage really ends, I don't think we're going to see us go back to 100% what life was like before. So we will roll that into this semester. So let me use the rest of the time to just talk about how Blackboard will work and how the class will work. As I think you all know, and if you don't, this is a good time to find out, this class is what we call fully asynchronous. That means there isn't a particular time of day or day of the week where you have to log on to Blackboard. There isn't a time where we all meet together at the same time, like I know you've done in some of your other classes using something like Zoom or Blackboard Collaborate. But that doesn't mean we will not be connected and talk to each other. We will have a lot of time to connect in this class. What it does mean is that you need to schedule your time accordingly each week. For those of you who took my class in either um, most likely introduction to law, this class will, uh, which was also an asynchronous online class, this class will work in a similar fashion. And you'll know that I tried to stay very organized in how the online class runs. And that is so crucial to being successful in a fully asynchronous class is making yourself a schedule each week and adhering to the deadlines in our class and following that schedule and you will be successful. So as I mentioned, I'm going to just go through how the Blackboard class works. We are fully asynchronous. I'm not just going to read the syllabus for you. I'll give you a chance to look through that, but I just want to show you what's here on Blackboard. And I may add some links here at the left, but as of when I'm making this recording, this is what's here today and now. I have a section called Start Here. Hopefully you're here already. I have an overview of how the class works and once I'm done making this video, the video will be posted here as well. So make sure you take a look at that. I've broken down the class into units of study. Pretty much each unit really just means one week. And each week we cover a different topic. During week eight of the semester, you will complete a midterm project. There will be more about that coming as it gets closer. That will be the week right before spring break. The rest of the weeks will look exactly the same where you'll log on every week and you will have stuff to do. So what do you have to do each week? Well, I'm going to go through by showing you under here where it says weekly unit. Here's where all of your work will be posted. Of course, it will also be listed in the syllabus, which is an outline of everything that we do in the class. So let me go over to weekly units. And as of today, again, you'll see that unit one 
and unit two are already posted. Each week I will post the new information and I always post a week ahead. You don't have to go ahead. In fact, I always stay current in terms of what I do. I work in the unit that we're in, but some people like to get ahead a little bit. Maybe you have a lot of stuff going on in other classes and you think out there are other obligations. You're welcome to go up to one week ahead at a time. So obviously here we are getting ready for week one. So week one and week two are posted. Each week you will have a welcome to that unit with an outline of your obligations for that week. Each week you will read a chapter of your book. Here's what the book looks like. It's called Law Office Management for Paralegals. You can purchase the physical copy like this one. This book is also available as an electronic copy. I actually think it costs less to buy the ebook than it does to buy the physical book. Um, this is the fourth edition, I believe. So you can, you know, you're welcome to buy a used copy if you can find one. Um, try to not use an older version of the book because um, it's updated as much as possible. I actually think it was just published last year, so there may not be a lot of used copies, but if you're looking to save money, you can purchase the electronic version, which I recommend. So each week, roughly, you'll read a chapter in the book a week. They're not terribly long chapters. I also will post from time to time handouts right in your Blackboard page for you to read, articles that I found that are interesting, maybe even other videos that are relevant to our material. So from time to time, there will be other material posted on Blackboard. Also each week, I will make at least one of these live videos. I think it's really important for you to hear my voice and for me to highlight some important points from that week's unit. I promise I will not just reread to you what is in the textbook. I will use the PowerPoint time to highlight maybe what I think are some of the most critical points from that unit or something that I think needs a little bit more discussion than what your book gives you. The book is okay. I don't think there's any perfect textbook, but I think it gives us a pretty good outline. But I will use PowerPoints with my voiceover to highlight what I think are the most critical parts of that. Um, the system that I'm using allows me to record for up to 15 minutes at a time for free. So each week, maybe expect one to two at the most three 15 minute videos to watch. I don't think there'll be a time when we go over three videos. Um, and then I'll also point, post the PowerPoints for you too, if you would like to print them out or reference them. Okay, so every week, read a chapter of the book, listen to the PowerPoints and any other material that I post. Every week of the semester, there is a discussion board. This is our in-class discussion. We're not a huge class. As of today, there's only 10 of you in the class. There might be a couple more, maybe even a couple less by the time we start. It's not a huge class, and we are all paralegals getting ready to graduate. So I really want you guys to get to know each other, knowing your colleagues. You're going to hear me talk about networking later this semester is really important. You guys are a great group of students and I want you to know that you have each other as much as you have your professors and your bosses to rely on to help you in your careers and to learn from each other. So how are we going to do that? We are going to use, your, use this discussion board here and every week you need to post to the discussion board and you need to respond to at least one of your classmates. The deadlines are the same every week post always by Thursday night of each week, except this week I gave you till Friday because the week starts late, and respond to a classmate by Monday morning. The rule in the syllabus says respond to at least one classmate to their post, but I encourage you to respond to more than one if you can. Again, it's just a great way to keep the class engaging. I will also be on the discussion board. I'm going to be very candid and tell you that I am teaching three asynchronous classes this semester. I've never done that before. That means that every week I have a lot of discussion board posts to read. I will do my best to respond as much as humanly possible in all of my classes, but I recognize that I am one human being reading close to 100 posts a week. That might be a lot, but be that it is May, I do think the discussion board is such an important part of the class and I really, really want us to have a lot of good discussions about what it's like to work in a legal environment. So again, every week, read the chapter, listen to the PowerPoints, post to the discussion board, respond to a classmate. 
last but certainly not least, there's a homework assignment every week. Um, the first one is pretty easy. It's just more of a get to know around, get to know your way around the class, get your textbook, answer some questions that are a little bit more based on the reading and the PowerPoints from week one. But for the most part, the assignments are not, I promise they're not terribly taxing because I give you one each week, but it's something related to the subject matter from that week. And they are always due, they meaning the assignments, are always due the Monday at the end of that unit. So a new unit becomes available Monday morning at 8 a.m. and the assignments for that unit from the last unit are due at the same time. Um, starting in unit two, every time you submit an assignment, you're also going to submit a time sheet with that assignment, not as a separate document. It will be part of your grade. So take a look at that material in unit two, but that kind of helps us get to think about what it's like to track our time being in a law firm. Okay, a little bit more. Again, I think all of you know this because it's not your first semester in the paralegal studies program, but um, I, if you have any questions about submitting homework, what you do is you click right on the homework itself and then it'll give you the due date right there, the points that it is worth. And then to submit your homework, this is the only thing that I think is really, really important. You can do two things. You can write a submission, so click here, and you can type your homework right into the write a submission. If you choose this option, be sure to also type in the timesheet starting in unit two. There's a grid, um, like a, a chart. You can cut and paste it into here, but you have to send me the timesheet and it must be over Blackboard. I cannot take your homework assignments over email because I have about 100 students this semester and that's just way too many emails for me to keep track of and I don't want to lose your homework or, or overlook it. So option number one, write a submission. Option number two, you can download the Word document, type your answers into the Word document or into your own brand new document and upload it here using the attached files. It uploads just like an attachment to an email. Um, those are the two ways to submit the homework. If you choose to attach it here, make sure the final page is that timesheet. Again, starting with unit two, not, not this unit. Um, and then hit submit. Notice here there's a button called add, a section called add comments. Please, please, please do not write your homework into the comments. Even though this is a very nice wide space here on your computer, on my computer, I get this very narrow little bar where I can read your comments and it is impossible for me to read your homework there. If you forget and you submit it this way, I will put a zero in and send it back to you and ask you to resubmit it the other way just because I can't see it. Okay, that's a little bit about submitting homework. Um, just a couple other general pieces. I am a stickler on deadlines. Welcome to the legal profession. We are going to talk about the importance of keeping a calendar. No late assignments. If you're late, you get a one week grace period. And after that, I don't accept it. If you have a family emergency, if you've taken ill or something has happened and you need an extension, please email me and ask me ahead of time. This is actually really good training for what your job is going to be like. Deadlines are so crucial in the legal profession and your boss and the court are not going to be understanding if you miss a deadline and get in touch after the deadline. If you need more time for something, it is always better to ask in advance and explain why. Not like, you know, it doesn't need to be, you know, every detail under the sun, but ask in advance don't miss a deadline and then later say, well, now I need time to make it up. There is no makeup opportunity in, in this class after that one week grace period. Um, last but certainly not least, I keep a useful links for paralegals page here. I will be adding to that as we go throughout the semester, but I might direct you here from time to time. Um, otherwise, everything you need is right here. If you have questions, email me. I have a separate discussion board just on asking questions, so don't be shy. And otherwise, that's a very quick overview. Be sure to read the syllabus so that you get all the details and nuts and bolts about the class. And I really look forward to having you guys this semester. So welcome to Law Office Management.